no longer having to pay Mrs. Hamilton an annual amount is money that we're now just getting for O&M for the Hamilton Recreation Center. Yes. Which means that it has more income, more money available for O&M now than it did, say, five years ago. Therefore, if we reduce the present corpus and drop, Don just got it, uh, it by, by money going to play fields, we will lose that money, but we have gained what we're not okay. paying Ms. Hamilton. There's a difference. That's all I'm saying. Okay, there's I, a difference. I'm just talking cash. I understand. Okay. The charitable remainder annuity trust, by its document, by its origin, is reduced. It needs to generate $60,000 a year. If it can do that off interest, great. If it can't, it makes up the amount out of the corpus. That is okay. not the case with the Hamilton Fund. The Hamilton Fund paid the amount to amortize the certificates of participation and then the additional funds that were generated on the remainder of the you know the amount the interest revenues per year then were helped offset the Hamilton Indoor Recreational Center we never did reduce the corpus amount to offset totally the cost of the operation of the Hamilton Indoor Recreation Center that's the difference between the crat paying Mrs. Hamilton and what the city used it for as an income generator. One, one last try. All right. You both speak when, in English. It's just <laughs> separated by a common language. <laughs> when the crat moved into the corpus How much was it? of the Hamilton Recreation Fund, it increased the amount yes. of O&M dollars available to the HERC. It increased the amount of the corpus of the Hamilton Fund, yes. And it also, in turn, by whatever Don could, could gain in, yep. in interest, increased the amount of money we had for one year. Exactly. So if That's we what you're asking. I've just wasted five minutes of your time. <laughs> Not just me. <laughs> <laughs> by reducing the corpus under this proposal, we will have less O&M money available. Yes. But we just, it went up after Ms. Hamilton passed on. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Thank you. By buck 98. No, more than that. <laughs> <laughs> I think Don no, Don just informed me that it was about 742000 remaining in the crap that Thank was you. transferred that's into the That's what I wanted to know. That's, that, that was, was why, the only question. That's the really the question. That was the question. Okay. Other questions for Gary? Okay. Thanks, Carrie. Superintendent Kleinert, hmm. what do you think? Tell us how good idea this is. Right before he gets out of town. I like the 35-gallon can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, all the people that have been working so diligently on this uh, project for our children of the community, Walter, Mary Cheney, uh, Gary and I have uh, had more breakfast than I can count, and, and also the Moscow School District Board of Trustees and administration, um, and last but certainly not least, Mr. Papineau, who has kept the driving force going. Um, I plan to take whatever the council ends up with this evening to the board next week uh, at their February 26th meeting. They will be um, deciding on a ballot question for the bond. I believe that the city and the school district working together on this project is a great sign. Uh, very, very positive about that. And, and we are indeed very fortunate to have the Hamilton Low Funds for the children of this community and to, uh, to put these uh, two funding sources together on behalf of our kids is the right thing to do for Moscow. Thank you. Thank you. Are you willing to field questions if the council has any? I stand for any questions if you have some. Anybody? Walter. Um, Superintendent Kleiner, uh, Gary went through a, a list of various elements that uh, are conditions. Conditions are, are the items that are germane to the discussion and so forth. Do you have, are there any in there that give you pause or that you expect might give the Moscow School District Board pause? I um, think he talked about the, several things, about sure. ownership, about maintenance, about footprint, about uh, uh, bond issue, about um, 
O and M, all of those things. Were there any of them that that uh, gave you pause? The the district and the city works very well together on multiple um, agreements on a handshake. Uh, this one involves a considerable amount of funding, over a million dollars, and and a, a shared use agreement based on the handshake deals that we've had over the years would be very very important. I think the length of time. Um, uh, is going to be a consideration for the board um, to, um, to, to shackle a, a future board is always important to consider, and so they will discuss that. Um, I also believe that the million dollars uh, does uh, require some obligation on behalf of the board, uh, the school board, and the city council however, so, so it, you have to weigh it. Uh, I think that we've done a good job in crafting some language to uh, continue um, uh, the prospect of a future school on that location. I think it's very important to have a clause in the shared agreement that would allow the school district to build a school at any time. I think planning is very important, uh, that, that the site of the school, um, parking, access to uh, future buildings is going to be important as we go through the design. Um, but really the most important part is passing a bond. None of this can happen if we don't pass a bond uh, this spring. The district uh, board of trustees will also be discussing uh, the difference between bond and levy as we move into uh, a ballot question on February 26th. Community sentiment is very, very high for, um, for the passage of a bond versus a levy. Both are high, but the passage of a bond is, is higher based on a recent phone survey, and I'll, I'm gonna save that secret for next week. And uh, <laughs> the community support is there, and I think we can make this happen with all of us working together. So Thank that, I guess I, I answered more than your question, but the concerns are going to be length of time, um, the, the shared use agreement, and, and some of the particulars. I'm sure they will have a lively discussion next week based on whatever you decide tonight. Thank you. Tim? Uh, thanks, Mayor Cheney. Uh, just some general comments, not necessarily for Dale. I, I guess you can stay up there if you want. But, um, I'm generally in agreement with the documents as they've been outlined in here uh, and the seven uh, issue points as outlined in our packet. Uh, I'm generally in agreement with the comments that uh, Dale just made. Uh, I want to thank the Moscow School Board and uh, our city staff for the efforts that, uh, and um, um, Mr. Papinoff for the efforts that um, everybody has put forth. Uh, I. Um, I feel as though that the Hamilton Corpus is a huge and very important asset. Uh, the city has used those dollars to um, help reduce the overall cost and operation of the Hamilton Indoor Recreation Center. So, so uh, when we talk about using a million dollars or more out of that corpus, uh, and reducing its ability to perform as it has in the past, I think that's of concern, should be of concern, uh, everybody sitting up here and everybody out in the audience for that matter. So uh, although I've said I, 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 I support this uh, and I will support this, I, my caveat is that um, uh, and I guess this is something that I practiced in my business, something that I practiced in my personal life. Um, I don't mind using money. I don't mind borrowing money, but um, I like to have a plan or a way to pay it back. So I'm going to support this thing, but I'll encourage this council to figure out a way to repay that corpus money over some period of time. Thanks. Madam Mayor. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I I like all the terms too. I I agree with 
um, Tim, that, you know, it's nice to have that corpus around. But to paraphrase, it was there, it was put there to do something for the kids. And if you're not using it, you're not doing anything with it other than, you know, keeping, you know, trying to keep maintaining the, uh, the herc. you know, I don't think it touches the, the total mate, the upkeep of the herc or, or its operations, but it probably puts a pretty good dent in it. I would suggest that, you know, I see Bill and Dale had an email conversation that was in our packet here trying to um, <clears throat> uh, close the gap, the half million dollar gap, uh, rather than deletions of some of the improvements. I would suggest that we change our participation to a million and a half. And then we talked about in item three, the financial participation bullet, where the city and the school district would solicit additional funding and in-kind participation in order to meet that 500,000 shortfall. I'd say any of that 500,000 shortfall go back or that anything that comes to that 500,000 would go back into the Hamilton Fund. If there's some way we can draw that up to where uh, that any any overages would would come back towards the, that fund um, and hopefully get our contribution down to a million. I you know I'd like to see us do a minimum of a million and a maximum of a million and a half. And I would like to you know with this commitment um, see if the school district would go for a, a 30 year term. I'm okay with 25, but if we get another five out of them, I think that'd be great. Uh, anybody from the public who's come to speak on this issue? Please. Yeah. Tell us who you are, Greg, when you get up here, please. My name is Greg Papineau. I live at 1903 Concord Avenue here in Moscow, uh, president of the Moscow Baseball Association. And, you know, this discussion has, has gone back and forth between the school district and and the city council, you know, the school district was going to take over. And when Dale told me that, I was, you know, are you sure? You know, and, and then all of a sudden it was 1.5 million. And that was just like, oh, my gosh, it's, it's not going to finish the field. It's just going to have play fields out there for the school district, which would be fine if that's what they wanted. But, you know, when, when he came to me, I, I, I think I immediately called Gary, and I went over and talked to him. And I said, Gary, we need money. What, what are we going to do? Well, you got to go talk to Dale. And, get together again. So here I am again, back to the, back to the council to uh, just uh, thank you for again, hopefully contributing to this cause of Joseph Field. It's, it's something that's, it's really close now. I, I feel it, it's close. It's within three months, whether we're gonna know if we can do it or not. You know, it depends on the bond of the levy, whatever they decide to do, but, um, I think we're within reach and that it's just not very far away. So, and again, you know, Moscow, um, as far as the maintenance stuff, uh, the baseball field during the summer is pretty much maintained by Moscow baseball. Uh, the outfield needs mowed, but we do all the infield work and clean up and everything like that around there. Um, as far as the maintenance on that field, on the baseball field, um, just for an example of the, the one at the middle school now, the baseball field again, is uh, we did extensive work last summer and we split the cost between the school district, Moscow baseball, and actually the Moscow Bear Boosters contributed to, it was like $2,000 or something like that by the time we got all done. So, you know, there's things like that that can happen to help defer the costs and, and that's what we're here for. And like Gary said, I said that, like, you know, that, that Hamilton low money is, is for the kids. And I don't, I just hope that you know, I understand the, the finances and all that kind of stuff, but hey, we need some ball fields. And that's what that money was for, is to, to use it for the kids, so. Thank you, Greg, we appreciate your persistence on it, this. Uh, and, I, I and try, and that's all I've been commitment. doing. This hasn't been a lot of work for me. I've just been here to keep all, all you folks going. and. Uh, Hopefully it's going to pay off at the end of the day. So, Thank you. Thank you. 
others who'd like oh sue did you have a oh. question for gray no oh, no no i had a question for dwight but i can oh, wait till thank you. you i can wait till the rest of the public i was just going to ask anybody else come to speak mm -hmm. to this issue okay. 